I'm Siobhan Jones with HumanGeneticsDisorders.com. Uh, may I have your name and a little bit about what your poster is about? So my name is Thea Owens. I'm a genetic counselor at St. Elizabeth Hospital in Edmonton. Um, this is my master's thesis. I graduated from the University of Cincinnati. Um, and so, so my poster is about um, to give a little background information. I learned about genetic counseling in my ninth grade biology class where my teacher actually told me, oh, is this a similar situation? Okay. So I actually, my teacher did, took a unit in his class and talked about careers and genetics. And that's when I first learned and I fell in love with the profession because I always knew that I wanted to do something in science, but I enjoyed helping people. So I found my twin. <laughs> and so that's, I was really excited when this um, topic was brought up as a possibility to do research on and of course I jumped on it. What I did is I surveyed the school bio biology and life science teachers um, that teach grades 9 through 12, and it was a national survey. Um, members that were a part of the National Association of Biology Teachers. So I identified them because they're very obviously biology teachers, it's in the title of the organization, um, and so we thought that, that would be the best population to survey. So I did an online survey, and there's about 1,800 members that were eligible, and I got 270 responses, which was about a 16% response rate, so a fairly good response, and what we learned was very interesting. So, I was impressed. Um, so, the survey composed of information about healthcare careers in general, and then we compared that to questions about uh, genetic counseling. And what we found is that a significant number of uh, individuals, teachers, are presenting genetic counseling as a career option, 72%. So I thought that was awesome. Um, and there is a huge interest in their students. So we asked what what is the perceived interest of students in learning about genetic counseling. And there was a high perceived interest by students. Um, but there are huge barriers for presenting genetic counseling. So even though they, they are presenting it, they're not spending a lot of time, less than 30 minutes per semester, are they spending on healthcare careers in general? So genetic counseling is only one healthcare career out of many. Um, and so time restrictions is a huge barrier. So that was one of our major findings from the study. And so in my manuscript that recently got accepted by the Journal of Genetic Counseling, I provide some recommendations about you know how how the profession can really get involved in the teaching community and how it's really a shared responsibility. We can't be solely uh, depending upon our teachers to promote our own profession. So um, some of the main resources that teachers utilize, they, teachers utilize themselves the most to talk about genetic counseling. They also use textbooks, internet resources, and guest speakers. So I had looked at um, a I looked at Ohio textbooks that are used in Ohio for grades 9 through 12, and what was interesting is that primarily the genetic counseling was mentioned in the book. It was a very small amount, and that they primarily only focused on prenatal genetic counseling. And so we're kind of missing the other aspects of our profession and how we use genetic concepts in our, in our profession. So that was an interesting finding. And then, um, with guest speakers, obviously, genetic counselors could be going into the classroom. And, you know, while time is an issue, we could be talking about genes, we could be talking about chromosomes. But then also, applying how that's actually used in real life. Because I think that's what teachers are, and students are really looking for is, you know, I remember taking math classes. Um, I think that, you know, genetic counselors can really, you know, put more, um, put more of themselves out or reach out to the community and really educate the students. So that was really the main point for my research. And cool. Hopefully we'll get more involved and see if some Awesome. Thank you well, thank so you. much, Thea. It was, it's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you.